Hi, my name is Ben Miller, and I am a physical therapist here at Total Physical Therapy in Amarillo. And today, we wanted to start a series looking at running research. And I just wanted to set up the series to where we address different topics on running and how does research either confirm or back up some ideas that we might have on either training or nutrition or shoes or anything like that. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for any future videos that you might want to talk about, uh, leave those in the comments below and I will look at them and, and try to see if I can find any research articles addressing those issues. Uh, today's research article is an interesting one. It's written um, by the Air Force and they're looking at uh, cadets that are going through basic military training. Um, and so the name of this uh, research study is The Effect on Injuries of Assigning shoes based on foot shape in Air Force space training. And so the hypothesis of this um, research study was looking at if they take um, some of their cadets and they put them in shoes that match the plantar surface of their foot um, and they put some people in some shoes based on what, you know, is, do they need a stability shoe, do they need a, a motion controlled shoe or a high cushion shoe, how does those shoes match up with the plantar surface of their foot and then they had a control group where they basically just gave all of those cadets a shoe uh, that was a stability shoe and so and, and they went through basic military training and, and they looked at um, frequency of injury rates um, throughout the time throughout basic military training um, and in conjunction with that they also looked at medical history and demographics and a couple other different factors just to find out you know, what could be causing injury rates in cadets that go through basic military training. Now I know that military training is not necessarily the same as running, um, but they do running in military training, um, I believe, uh, and, you know, depending on what branch of the military, it's anywhere from a mile and a half on up, where you have to run that, um, that, amount, that distance in a certain amount of time. And so that in conjunction with other things. And so um, while this may not directly correlate to running and runners, we can still get some good useful information out of this study. And so what was the conclusion of the study? So they basically found that if they matched the shoe to the bottom of the foot, it had no impact or no correlation on injury rates. So whether they just threw a, just a stability shoe at them, um, regardless of what their foot shape was, or they specifically put a shoe based on their foot shape, um, there was no correlation on injury rates. Uh, but what I found was interesting was they actually went through and looked at some of the demographics um, of the study. And so um, some things that they did find was that if you were a smoker or if you had um, too high of a BMI or too low of a BMI um, or if your aerobic fitness was less, those things um, tend to lead more towards injury um, than not. And so those were the conclusions of the study. So what kind of we get out of the study? Um, well, the first thing is, is that, um, you know, based on, just based off of this, that if you try to take a shoe and, and match it up perfectly with the plantar surface of your foot, it may not necessarily help you in, in terms of injury, uh, which I found interesting. Um, but some other things that were definitely interesting are the, you know, the too high BMI or the too low BMI. Um, which I feel like a lot of elite runners especially, but some runners, um, they're, you know, they're always pushing to you know, reduce weight, cut weight, try to figure out a way to get lighter, lighter, lighter. Uh, but you know, where you may be able to run faster whenever you're lighter, um, you may be increasing your risk of injury whenever you're pushing down too low beneath you know, the healthy part of the BMI. Um, so for those of you that don't know what the healthy range for BMI is, it's about um, 18.5 to 24.9. So if you're sneaking down underneath 18.5, uh, just know that you're doing so at, at, the, at the risk of your health. Um, and then if you're above the 24.9, just know that it, you're probably at a higher risk of, of injury, um, especially when running compared to somebody who's not. And so um, that is an interesting takeaway. Another one is, is smoking. So currently if you're smoking, it's probably within your best interest to, to stop smoking. Um, lots of different research studies on the benefits of, of stopping from smoking and, and what smoking can do to you. Um, but this study directly links um, smoking to causing um, or increasing the risk of injury, um, at least in these cadets. And then um, the last one 
is low aerobic fitness. Um, so if you if you're going into a training program and and you know you're kind of new to running or, or maybe you're coming back after a really long break and you just know that you know you're not in really good shape. Uh, you know just be careful as you go through and progress through your training plans. Uh, uh, just know that someone who has lower fitness tends to get injured a little bit more than somebody who, say, has a little bit higher of a fitness. Um, there could be a, a number of different reasons for that. This, this uh, study doesn't necessarily touch on why that is. It just mentions, oh, hey, this is, happens to be a factor that was statistically significant um, in injury rates. And so uh, with all that being said, um, what is the study not saying? And so... In this study, you know, they were looking at um, fitting plantar shape. And so <clears throat> this study doesn't necessarily go beyond that where people are talking about, you know, overpronation or supination or anything like that. This study doesn't necessarily touch that. All it touches is um, matching a shoe based off of how you, the bottom of your foot looks. Um, and then that and also, it also doesn't touch the... the into the realm of, you know, which shoes are better? Is it, are neutral shoes better? Are stability shoes better? Um, are do stability shoes even work? That type of thing. It doesn't necessarily touch that, that area. And so, um, I hope you all enjoyed this discussion a little bit. It was just kind of a little look into this um, study. Um, the study had a lot of other fun, interesting things to say. I just kind of pulled out some of the main points. But again, if you guys found this interesting, go ahead and give us a like below. And if you guys um, want to talk about a different subject, something else that you want me to kind of dive into the research on, uh, just post that in the comments below and I'll take a look at them. You all have a great day.